Hey guys, I'm still on our GIT. Today we'll be talking about the electrical activity of the gastrointestinal tract. Electrical activity of the gastrointestinal tract. Okay, so in full electro uh, electrical what activity of the gastrointestinal smooth muscles. So um the GI tract is excited by almost uh, continual slow intrinsic electrical activity along the membranes of the muscle fiber okay and this excitation is in like two types we have the slow wave excitation we have the spike wave excitation okay so um the voltage of resting membrane potential of gastrointestinal smooth muscles can be made to change to different levels okay and uh, this is also important in controlling motor activities of the gastrointestinal tract so this is it um this is a slow wave okay so now we'll be talking about each of these wave okay we'll be breaking this wave down guys all right so i hope you guys are ready if you are ready then let's go so now let's talk about the slow wave potential i would say that um most uh, gastrointestinal contraction occur rhythmically and the rhythm is determined mainly by slow waves of the smooth muscles membrane potential okay and these slow waves are not actually action potentials though okay but they are slow undulating changes in the resting membrane potential so like uh the beat by beat changes in the resting membrane potential be before it goes up before it spikes okay that's a slow wave potential okay and um uh, the precise cause of slow wave is not completely understood um um uh but but they are caused they are caused by complex interactions among smooth muscles and special interstitial cells called the cardiac cells okay so interaction of the cardiac cells with uh, the smooth muscle cells uh, smooth muscles okay is actually what causes this slow wave potential okay so these are the slow waves and these are the spikes okay slow waves just like small small changes okay they are not really action potentials so now let's talk about the spike waves uh we say that the spike waves they are the true action potentials okay and they occur automatically when the resting membrane potential of git smooth muscles become more positive than minus 40 milli volts okay so the normal uh, resting membrane potential in the smooth muscle fibers is between 50 and 60 millivolts and the spike wave is mediated by what calcium sodium channels all right calcium sodium channels so i hope this lecture was nice i will talk about the electrical activities of the gi tract gi smooth muscles which is into the smooth um smooth wave and um spike wave potentials okay so i hope you guys are fine with this let's close the curtain now